Right gang, welcome back for some more Barca boys and today it is transfer, fiesta, siesta, all them noises. <clears throat> today accompanied with my lovely assistant in the background, my scout, we'll call her. So are you excited? Let's still get into it. along and testing transfer window I tried to make it as authentic as possible by uh, recording this one month after so I, I let it play out as ex exactly how a normal transfer window would would do joking aside I <coughs> honestly it was just loads of real-life things happening and uh, lots of hurricanes lots of weird weather not a lot of electricity amongst one of the things and uh, as you can see, I need my scout to to be working hard, and she's been slacking off. Let's just blame her, honestly. But here we go. Like, there's some finances. There's no particular reason I started here. I just didn't want to spoil everything in the start. But we are here for transfers. And let's get into it. Right. Let's go start with the aisles, though. Um, oh, this is the wrong season. I guess one thing. See, this is DAF that it does this thing. That This one is in last seasons. But yeah, I sold Emerson, too. Mr. Zebra, um, for 22 million, never played him, so, so yeah, that's super duper exciting, but, you know, a bit of money, uh, so now we actually go to ours, like this season, which is, uh, where we want to be at, so loads of loans are going out, and, uh, Nicki Minaj apparently went to Young Boys, which kind of sounds a bit dirty, Mateo Fernandez, who we never played, never gonna play, went to Levante, fair enough, Jordi Alba has left for almost 12 million to Napoli. He's already half his wage, uh, half the value, so I guess that was a good deal. Um, I mean, he's still class, right? But he's 33, he's gonna just keep declining, and yeah. Thank you for the services. You've been with Barcelona for, well, 10 years. Oh, did we do a testimonial? Probably should have, but oh well. Um, we sold the Anacho. Great buy by me. Sold him for 20 million. What did we pay? 10 and a half. Uh, he played, he played actually quite a bit, so, you know, scored four goals, not exactly amazing, right? Well, sold him to Bournemouth, who, hmm, bit of a bargain for us, I guess, good business, bit of business. Now, this one is a bit silly as well. I guess technically it is good business, right? I got him for free, I sold him for 30 million. Hmm, problem is he was like worth 60 million, right? Now he's worth 70 47 so I mean I was always gonna just sell him but I was hoping to get more than just 30 but at the end of the day at some point I was really desperate for the money in the window so later Mr. Depay off the city as well a bit strange but oh well and then we sold Clement Longley to Chelsea for 50 million which is actually pretty darn good I mean he's also world class right elite center back 27 years old he's in his prime he's a great player, great guy, very happy, but he doesn't fit our our philosophy. Ooh, as I'm developing a hiccup, sorry, uh, yeah, 50 million for him, so what's that total? So it's 117 plus the 22, so it's 139 million we brought in. This window, we spent 218, but see, now this is where the problem is again. You need to then go to the last season, where all sorts happened. We already know, Mr. Tonali, on a free, worth 22 now. He looks worried, but, I mean, wonder kit Hall of Famer, right? Um, and on a free, randomly, why not? But this guy, who I never heard, I've never heard of before, but apparently he's also a bit of a wonder kit. I mean, literally is wonder kit. Aster Rank. Rank. Yeah, I have no idea either. 20 million is worth it already. 19 years old. Just a great wonder kid. Um, immediately off on loan because that's how we do. Um, <clears throat> then you may have noticed a specific one here. Yeah. We bought Haaland. Holland, sorry. Uh, elite striker already. 22. I mean, he's still young enough to kind of fit our philosophy. I mean, he's just world class. I don't need to tell you anything more. It's Holland. 
92 million total. You got right? Or is it? Yeah, total. Other people were bidding on him, and I was just like, meh, let's just buy him. Why not? We kind of needed more depth up front, so I'm not that worried. We bought this guy, who is a regen wonder kid as well. He looked absolutely amazing. Look at him stats. Um, so, what was that? 2.2 million. Oh, actually, only 2 million. And he's now... Is he on low? No, he's actually active club. Whew. Amazing. See, I thought, thought he was out and low. See, this is a bit of a random one, yeah. I bought Harvey Elliott. But the reason why I did it was... 11.75. He was for sale randomly. And I was like... I think I had him on my shortlist because he is a bit of a youngster. I mean, he's still a wonder kid, so... I mean, why not? Get him in. Uh, and also, we were kind of building a bit of an English squad here randomly. Which I didn't think was going to happen, but... I guess. So that's what, from here, that's many, many millions. You can probably count that up yourself if you are, if you fancy that. Now let's go to this season, where these two are randomly also appearing. See, this is so daft. Mr. Ekbo and Elliot are also on this list. Okay, this is the exciting one. <clears throat> yes, we bought Mr. Delict, as we should have done in real life in, what was that? 2019, I guess, yeah. I was so bloody excited as a Barcelona fan when we were being linked to this guy. Like, every single day, everything was safe, everything was secure. You know, we had verbal agreements, all sorts of agreements, and we would get him for a fairly cheap price because of our good relationship with Ajax. I was so exciting. I excited, and then he randomly goes to Juventus instead. But well, now we finally brought him home. I mean, he's four and a half currently. I mean, he's just world class, right? Probably the world, the best centre back in the game, at least one of. And yeah, we paid a hundred million. Well, a total of a hundred and sixteen million, which for Delict is probably not even that crazy, is it? I mean, it sounds crazy, but. Other amounts being splashed over for players in real life and stuff. 100 million for well, 116 for the league. Not too bad. I'm very happy with that one. Um, but this guy, who I'd never heard of before either, he just randomly popped up. And uh, looks like a very, very solid left back. Like Alba left, and we needed a bit of cover there as well. And he's, this guy's just amazing. Like 16 tackling was immediately jumped at me. He's a more of a defensive minded uh, fullback. So. If we're playing away versus some of the big teams or something, we can maybe start this guy if we want a bit more defensive solidity over Mr. Mendez, who is very offensive. Um, <clears throat> just great pace, stamina. I mean, everything about him is great, right? And he's 22. He still has loads of potential. Uh, loads of potentially uh, time to re improve. Wow. Much of good English there. Um, I'm very happy with this guy. From Was it PSV? No, from AZ for 40 million. That was his release clause. I tried my best. Or was it? I guess it wasn't then. I'm lying. 53 potential. Which probably will eventually. Um, Mr. Vindal. It's not Vinaldum, but maybe it's his distant cousin. Uh, who knows? And then we just randomly... I loaded up the game today and uh, we had a bit of money in the left and it was transfer deadline day and I was like, hmm, should we buy anyone? And then I noticed this geezer on sale. And he was literally transfer listed by Dortmund. I assume because he wanted to be transfer listed. We paid you know, 64, 64 total, yeah, 40 up front and then the rest in installments because that's literally what I could afford. I mean, it's Jaden Sancho. He is unbelievable. 22. Um, yeah, he's just unbelievable. Not too much to say. And we have now have amazing cover up front. Like four, four front four positions are allowed. Like full of talent in it. Very, very promising. <clears throat> um, one more transfer that we did, probably the most exciting one, is Mr. Alex Collado. He is the best player in the world. Where did we buy him from? Oh. We, we got him from Barcelona B. Apparently I've been loaning this guy out for God knows how long, well, the two seasons. I, I never even kind of realized he existed. Um, all of a sudden he comes back I was going to loan him out immediately, but then I noticed he's four star. He won all sorts of awards last year, and he just developed into, well, pretty world class player. So we now also have Alex Collado, who is apparently a product of Barcelona. So beautiful, isn't it? He's worth 37 already. <clears throat> so this is now our squad. 
pretty darn strong, right? If you take a look, just the star ratings alone, I mean, it is amazing. Petri, only three stars. He looks underwhelming, right? But, I mean, it's Petri, and he's going to just keep developing. Especially this season, I'm going to play him as much as humanly possible. <clears throat> and that we just have great, great depth as well. Um, Dest is still here for the right back. I mean, Trent, current ability, five star. This guy is just out of this world. I mean, he's declining, but I guess that's because of the summer holiday, well, hopefully. And I mean, Mbappe and Haaland. Now, we, the problem now is that we have Mbappe and Haaland. Holland, sorry. Um, which worked out fine in the start of the season because Ansu Fati was injured. But I kind of want to start Ansu Fati all the time as well because, well, Barca boy in it. But that might mean that ha uh, Holland is going to actually be a bit of a super sub for Mbappe, which, you know. Not the worst thing in the world, but we'll rotate as much as possible so they don't get angry. Um, we still have Chinkao as well, who's also going to play loads. I'm thinking of like playing him a lot over Messi. I say that, but Messi has played all the matches in the start, I think. Speaking of, like, I wanted to get the transfer window over, so we've actually played quite a few matches. And as you can see, it's gone rather well. 5-0 versus Espanyol and Levante. 1-0 versus Betis, where Colado... Our new newster, new star uh, got a goal. It's good. We then drew away to Vigo, which is a bit strange. But Holland and Mbappe on the score sheet, which is good to see. Four 0 thrashing of Atletico Madrid, which was a bit surprising, I guess. But yeah, Messi getting two goals is uh, just what you need. And then just now, I just played versus Mr. Pamplona or the team Pamplona, and we won one 0 Very underwhelming, but we had. So many chances that we could have won like 10 0. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the next match, which is actually today, is going to be in the Champions League. So let's take a look at the group. The group is as follows pretty underwhelming, right? Should be fairly straightforward. Napoli, Salzburg, and Sporting in there. Um, <clears throat> the Champions League our, this season is going to be our main focus. So this is also why I come back at this day because we're actually going to play the first match of the Champions League right now versus none other than Napoli so also the return of well if he's going to play oh they also have Carlos Alenia apparently see all these weird players that are just loaned out I can't keep track of them all yeah Jordi Alba is there my friend Jordi Alba the rabbit let's call him because why not do they have anything else that's exciting they have lots of Spaniards which I kind of like but no Kulibali, of course, who's now ancient, right? Say, so. Jim, that's pretty much it. Right, well, it's game time, so let's take a look at the squad because this is where it gets super duper exciting. I mean, when you have like Tunkao and Tonali and players like that on the bench, Fatty is still injured, well, he's at least knackered. You have Sancho on the bench as well. You know that your squad must be pretty darn good, right? Just look at the star ratings. It is so sexy. If you would pay attention to the star ratings, that is, but... Yikes, right? So Stegen in goal. Whew, I just love saying this. Trent Alexander-Arnold on right back. Whew, that's good. Then Delict, Garcia, and Mendes, who's also just developing into a superstar. He's still only 20 years of age. As soon as his techni technical abilities start like improving, he's going to be world-class. Uh... Garcia, same thing with him, right? His mentals are out of this world. And when he starts improving a bit, he's going to be world, world, world class. He's already on the verge of, right? Pretty much all of them. Same with Camavinga. <sighs> I mean, nothing more to say, right? 20 years, 19 years of age, and he's this good. De Jong, still in there. I mean, he's almost our most experienced outfield player. Uh, except maybe this guy, right? 35 years of age, but De Jong is still going to play loads, and we have, of course, Moriba, who's also going to play loads. I do loads of rotations all the time, so they'll get loads of game time, both of them. But yeah, De Jong, Camavinga on the midfield, and then Messi on the right, just because he's been absolutely outstanding in this start of the season, where we had loads of injuries, actually, and tiredness because of, well, all sorts. I mean, you can see there, 8.2 8 .8 in the last five games last five matches right out of this world but it's messy what do you expect petri in the center like in the amc role and yeah gonna play as much as humanly possible 
Mbappe on the left at the minute, because and when I was Enzo Patrick was injured, put Mbappe out there where he can play. I mean now we have Sancho, but I kinda wanna play Mbappe. And then that means that Holland can also play, so Holland up front. And that's pretty much it. Then she's looking <laughs> amazingly strong as well, right? It's just I I have a good feeling about this season. I, and I should because the whole point of this season is to win the bloody Champions League. Okay, the media have given you a lot of credit, so let's just go out there and and do good things, right? Do some opposition instructions to Alba playing. Alba actually is playing. Gonna tackle him hard. Very hard. And same goes for the right back. And then it's pretty straightforward. Oh. Now I'm also gonna on the wingers and yeah. Get stuck in. Right, it's game time. Camp now versus Napoli. Should be a good one. I mean we're gonna get off to a great start here. Trent the court uh the cross maybe to Izzo. I thought they were Isco there for a second. Mendes, you're gonna cross it again. I mean we're are they not gonna pressure us at all? What the heck was that Mendes? I think Mendes was confused by the lack of well pressing that he just I don't know, blanked out. Okay, let's just try and build again. Petri to Oh, Holan. That was definitely a penalty, right? It's nowhere near the ball and Holan just kinda of fell over. It must be a penalty. And it's a Turkish ref. Is that a good for me? I don't know. Yeah, penalty awarded. Let's see if Messi is actually gonna score. You never know these days. <clears throat> Messi with the pen. That was a sick save by Ospina. I mean, credit to him. But that's encouraged because after that, that's that's a bit of a shocker, right? <clears throat> I hope you guys are excited about the season. I think the league is going to go very well indeed. I think it's going to be a bit of a breeze. But the difficult bit is the Champions League, which we want. The big ear trophy as Haaland goes close. Trent to Messi, to Trent again, to De Jong. Just someone shoot or something. Mbappe. That's not how you say his name. But Kylian Mbappe with the goal. Great goal there. De Jong with the assist. Hmm. And why is replays on? Goals. Yes. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> well, I guess we don't have to see that one particular one again. As Mbappe just takes on the world. I mean, this is what he does best with. And then fails to cross it. Good thing we have Trent there. That's his speciality. And <clears throat> to De Jong again. Camavinga. Just shoot, mate. Look how they're just allowing us to sit right outside and we're just gonna do bars, I think. I mean, Mbappe scores again. Wow. <coughs> I think he got blocked initially, right? And then the repost. He's on it like a fox. Yeah, Trent crosses it in. Messi is there. And then gets blocked and then immediately pounces on it. Good goal, Mbappe. We'll now name him. So now Napoli are finally going to try and come forward. Insigne, Insigne, or however you say it. Oh, Alba. For a second there, I forgot that he even existed. Oh no, a Messi with a bit of a blooper there. Well, apparently it wasn't punished because Testega made a humongous... Whoa, Mendes, calm down, mate. And then Osina smashes it over. That was a bit tense there. Mbappe just skims the man. That is amazing. And then, oh, crossbar. What a great chance. I just realized it's only 17 minutes in. I thought it was like, this might be the longest bloody episode ever. Okay, Napoli now try and bring it forward. Oh, good de defensive work by Canavinga. And now can we spring an attack? I mean, there are already so many of them that are defending, but look at the, the vertical tiki taka is really at in show here, right? Oh, Nuno Mendes. That was a bit tense, wasn't it? Mbappe! Oh my god. Mbappe is just on fire. I mean, it's, it's bloody Mbappe, you don't need to say anything else. <clears throat> right, well, 2 0, half time, pretty straightforward. Um, gonna say you might be winning, but don't drop your performances because we can't allow that. Uh, yeah. By the way, this is, uh, I, I guess, congratulations to Mr. Laporte, who recently just won the election in Barcelona. And hopefully, congratulations to all Barcelona fans because I think that's gonna be very, very good for the club. Uh, I think we're going to move in a much better direction than we have in the many, many years now under 
whatever the name of the other guy was. Um, so it's exciting. Harlan, does he want to go as well? No. Just someone shoot because I'm very conscious about counter attacks from here. <sighs> I mean, we are Barcelona, I guess. Trent, does he want to go? Yeah. Unlucky. Oof, snap. They, we, they just lose the ball and then we are pouncing on them. Messi to Harlan. Does Harlan want to go? I think we want to get the hat trick for Mbappe, right? Trent with the wicked cross there. Oh, doesn't really find Haaland. Haaland. Um, let's make some changes now. Haaland is not having a good game, so Mbappe up front was just pretty scary that we have to do, right? And then put Sancho on the field. Oh, Nuno Mendes is struggling a bit, so we'll put Wijnaldum's cousin on. And yeah. Save the last one for... Well, for now, actually. Um, let's get Tonali on for Camavinga. More defensive kind of minded <coughs> than, let's say, Moriba. Oh. Yeah, just to see this out. No funny business. I mean, we are absolutely dominating. As you might expect, but still, it's Napoli. And are they just going to rub it? <sighs> Bit safe, I just take We don't even see the corner either. That's sick defending. Them. Are we going to pounce Sancho? Fresh legs. Just do stuff. Yeah, you can shoot from there. It's fine. To Messi, though. <laughs> oh, no. Messi gets tackled by Rudiger. And that's something you hear every single day. Sancho's back on it. Tonali. Great. To by Weindal. De Jong with the cross. And then Pedri. Pedri with the header. That was pretty unexpected as well. But he's in there. Oh, was it? Nah, right? It's not side. Yeah. Wijnald I I always want to say Wijnaldum randomly. De Young and then he just crosses it. Petri rises highest over Kulibali, right? So Petri wins the header. That seems um seems unrealistic. But you never know. Messi with a free kick, we're gonna make it four. Garcia is all the way up there. Wijnald. <laughs> he just keeps going. Wow, okay. That's a great run from him. Ah, blocked. Sancho's shot is blocked. Another chance? Mm, I mean, why not? I mean, they're just going to lose the ball here. We know what's going to happen. There we go. De Jong going to set up Mbappe for his hat trick. But it looks like Sancho is very determined to make a good effort here. Like He's been everywhere. Both him and Weindahl, to be fair, they've been really electric since they got on. Petri with the cross, maybe? Oh, oh, that looked like a pen to me, but I guess not. <laughs> but Tonali just wins the ball back immediately. Wow, that's amazing. We're not even playing Gagan press, but it almost seems like we are, doesn't it? De Young, we're going to cross it to Petri. Yeah, look how crowded it is in their area. They have so many people back. They're just waiting for the perfect counter-attack. But as soon as they tried, we just win the ball back. It was amazing to see. Right? 3-0. Best performer, Frank Ed Young. Yeah, he was pretty much everywhere, right? And he also got... Did he get one assist or two assists? Well done, wins. Uh, no, well done. <laughs> well done, lads. Good win for us. That's, that's what the line says. Can't complain about that. Um... And what else then? So we're going to speed through a little bit and then... I'm not sure. Maybe come back with the two difficult... I say difficult, but at least the away game versus Napoli. And maybe the home game versus Salzburg. Um, and then, yeah. Take it from there. And see... Oh, there's also a Real Madrid match here. Hmm, maybe it should... I'll figure something out. Guess it's a surprise for you guys. So, see you soon though. I promise, I promise, I will record, I promise.